All right, guys. So today I'm going to show you how to link these two speakers together using the true wireless stereo. Uh, you can do it a couple different ways. Any Anything that I do um, on the back of the speaker itself using the our single knob push for DSP, I can also do in the EV Quick Smart app that's free to download for both the iOS or Android devices. But let's take a look real quick. All right, guys, so how, do you, how you would link two of them together is you would do this on both the speakers. You would go into the menu just by pressing the single knob push for DSP, going down to uh, Bluetooth, which is a little ways down. And once you get into the Bluetooth menu, you go almost all the way to the bottom and there's link speakers. If I hit link speaker on this one, and then I also go to my second speaker and do the exact same thing, go into Bluetooth, and then all the way down to link speakers, what will end up happening is the speakers will find each other and they will automatically link together and then you can assign one to being the left channel or the right channel, it's up to you. And that's where you do it when you say link route. So if I want this one to be the right channel, I would literally scroll it down until it says R and then the other one automatically becomes L. However, if you want to use the app itself, you can. So you'll start with by, the app itself will find what Everse speakers are in the room or any Electro Voice speaker with a Bluetooth control chip built in. You can select them and then make it part of your system. So when I select these two, I can hit connect. There they are. And then right at the very bottom, it says edit Bluetooth audio link. When I get into it, then I can say which, which speaker is going to be my left, which one's going to be my right. If I decide to choose this E1DE and say that's going to be my right channel, I hit it one time and the other one automatically switches over to being the left channel. If you're more of a visual person like I am, you can either, again, you can do this on the back of the speaker, but I like using the app because it's simple and it's easy to do. Either way is gonna to work to link these speakers with true wireless stereo.